What's going on Collider Games fans? I'm Caboose and today what I got for you guys here is a little bit of news regarding the latest season of Fortnite. Season 9 has officially launched and with it comes a bunch of brand new weapons, new areas on the map, and an overhaul in some of the transportation on the map. So, things have been changed. A lot of things have been changed. And for me, I haven't been playing too much Fortnite recently, so coming back to this game with the newest season felt like I was playing a completely different game. For starters, Tilted Towers is no longer. They have reshaped the entire area to be this futuristic version of Tilted Towers known now as Neo Tilted. They've also changed what used to be Retail Row. That has changed to the Mega Mall. Although Retail Row is still sort of intact, at least half intact. The area that featured the houses of the side of Retail Row is still pretty much the same as it always was with very minor updates to it. But the other side of retail row is now the quote mega mall that is drastically different once again fitting that theme of the futuristic vibe from the game one of the drastic changes one of the biggest changes to the game in terms of just the gameplay is the fact that the pump shotgun has been vaulted in replacement for this new combat shotgun that feels incredibly inconsistent very awkward to use and i'm not entirely sure what the decision making process was behind vaulting the pump shotgun because i didn't really see too much problem with it even being a casual fortnite player myself so i'm not entirely sure why it ended up getting vaulted, what the reasoning was behind that, and right now, the entire meta around a weapon loadout for people that is most recommended is so weird and broken and just doesn't work in creating a fun environment to play Fortnite in, especially for some of the competitive players. I'm sure plenty of them are just not having a good time right now with the way that the game is structured at the moment. We also got the addition of these new slip streams. They're sort of these wind tunnels located in different areas around the map that sort of transport you really quickly from one place to another. I think these are pretty cool. I usually don't like the idea of just adding more and more additional options that allow us to traverse around the map really quickly, but I think this one in particular works out really well. It's a nice little get out of jail free card if you're under an immense amount of pressure with maybe a team chasing after you. You jump into one of those wind tunnels and you find a bit of a decent escape for a couple of seconds to maybe regroup with your team or just escape from the people that were shooting at you or something. Overall, the season's not bad. I don't want to hate on it too much. The skins and things that are offered within the battle pass is pretty cool this time around. You can straight up be like a Voltron looking character, which I thought was pretty awesome. And overall, the contents within the battle pass, the skins and the different things that they're going to be offering this time around, I think are pretty cool. They've added this new Fort Bite thing which is this hidden collectible that people are going to have to find progressively over the course of the season and I'm not entirely sure what it's going to culminate to or what you're going to inevitably unlock from it but I'm sure it's going to be something pretty cool and worth it considering the amount of time you're inevitably going to have to put in to unlocking this entire puzzle so I thought that was fun and overall Epic Games seems to be regaining the trust of the community ever so slightly there's still th some things that they definitely got to work on and they got to get fixed but as of right now, I think this was a pretty good launch for Season 9 of Fortnite Battle Royale. And hey, we're now going to kick it to you guys. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. What do you think of Season 9 for Fortnite Battle Royale so far? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, a positive rating would be appreciated. And you can subscribe to the Collider Games channel for more gaming coverage. You can also follow me on Twitter at CabooseEK, linked in the description. I've been Caboose, and I'll see you guys later.